Hello, uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, good morning everyone. Okay, uh, we are live now. So welcome to this session. This is uh, EAE English. Uh, sorry, Essential English uh, Academy English uh, class for section sixty six. Right. Okay. Uh, hopefully, uh, my audio is clear. Okay, and perhaps okay you can uh, while waiting for the others to join us okay can you just uh, say something in the live chat uh, over there all right and uh, state also where are you right now okay for example you are in Melaka, you are in Pasir Gudang, you are in Sabah, you are in Sarawak, okay, the, uh, your hometown, okay, where are you right now, okay, in the uh, live chat uh, section down there, all right, so we have uh, 13 uh, so far, okay, let me check, uh, So, okay, uh, basically what we are going to uh, do today is I'm going to talk about uh, impromptu speech. Okay, impromptu speech. All right. Okay, uh, so this week is week week thirteen already. Okay, uh, meaning uh, next week will be the final week uh, for the semester. Okay, uh, basically this semester is a uh, chaos actually. Okay, very chaotic uh, semester actually because of this uh, COVID nineteen. So we have already tried so many things okay uh for our classes so far okay we, uh, basically our classes are online classes right <coughs> so i receive uh, a lot of comments over there okay uh for example okay we have from uh, izatul alia okay from laka okay Yo Chia Chun uh, in Penang, okay. Uh, Shahid Zikri, Islam Iraya, okay. Islam Iraya to all of you, okay. Uh, we are at the end of uh, Hari Raya month, all right, okay. So Islam Iraya, so this uh, this year's Raya is a uh, very very different, okay, from uh, the previous ones, all right. So hopefully you enjoy your Hari Raya with your family members. Okay, Shahi, okay, you are in Kuantan right now. Okay, welcome. Uh, San, uh, okay, not that far in Bistari. All right. Uh, Faru Zaman, hometown Penang, Fatin, KL. Right. Okay, and then we have uh, Aiza Shahira, okay, uh, in Joho, okay, and then uh, Dayang Afika in Sarawak, right, okay, so perhaps, okay, you can put uh, cake, cake Sarawak, <laughs> okay, uh, Amira, okay, in Kedah, Selamat Air Raya, okay, Selamat Air Raya, Amira, okay, Assalamualaikum, Aziza. Uh, from JB, Mira from Penang, and uh, Amira from Batu Pahat. All right, so far we have these students, right? So, 
Okay, we have Intan from Teluk Intan Perak. Oh, Intan from Teluk Intan Perak. <laughs> okay, uh, so this session will take about okay, 45 to 1 hour uh, depending on our discussion. So basically, in our uh, session today, I'm uh, having uh, this session okay, live from UTHM. Okay, for your information, starting from today, all staff uh, have has already okay have already come back to the office uh, officially okay so this is uh, today is our official reopening of UTHM all right and uh, basically I already started working coming back to uh, my office uh, since last two weeks right okay we have also Shafika from Slango Najiha from Batu Pahat. All right. Okay. So thank you. So along the way, okay, if you have any questions, if you have any uh, queries, uh, okay, regarding uh, our session today, okay, regarding our test next week, okay, please do not hesitate to put your questions down there, okay, using the live chat. So I will answer those uh, questions. Okay. All right. Okay, so we have here Amir Aiman, okay, from Pasir Putih, Klate. Okay, yeah, I have a great class, guys. Okay, so, so hopefully we we will uh, benefit from this. Okay, so perhaps, okay, uh, quite a number of you won't be able to join us uh, this morning, but no problem because later on, this will also, this is recorded. Okay, uh, uh, and will be there in uh, my uh, YouTube channel. So you can just click, okay, the link that I shared. Anytime the video will be there, and also you can you'll be you you will be able to see all these uh, 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 conversation, okay, in the live chat section. But that will be a replay. Okay, so that one will be uh, uh, also available. All right. Okay. So the reason I'm going, okay, I'm using this because okay, uh, basically it, everyone has YouTube. Okay, uh, in the mobile app or the laptop. Okay, so I think uh, the bandwidth is also a little bit low because you can set. Uh, the quality is HD or uh, standard definition. Okay, Shikin Rosman. Okay, good morning, everyone. I'm on my way to going back home to Seremban from Hutan Melintang. So, are you in? Okay, are uh, driving right now? Okay, perhaps. Okay, so safe drive. Okay, uh, please. While we are driving, we also. We need we we also need to uh, practice the social distancing. So, you know, uh, the distance from one car to car. Okay, not too close. Okay, right. Okay, so we have twenty uh, people, right? Uh, so far, okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay, thank you, thank you for joining us. All right, and uh, <clears throat> so today's uh, topic is impromptu speech. I'm going to look at uh, my device here. Okay, while, uh, okay, uh, the materials, okay, I, I already uploaded, but I have not make it uh, uh, public, okay, in author, all right, so after this class, perhaps, okay, uh, this afternoon, I will make it available to you, okay, some notes for impromptu speech, and also exercises perhaps okay there will be practices in which you will have to do it on your own okay uh right all 
Okay, so Okay, uh, let me share something here. Right, so this is our topic today. So I'm going to talk a little bit about impromptu speech. Okay, impromptu speech uh, is speaking without preparation. It means that, okay, uh, many times in which in class, for example, suddenly your name is being called and you need to say something. So meaning there is no uh, rehearsal, no preparation, okay? Then, 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 okay, you have to say something. So this is about impromptu uh, speech. So impromptu speech is, uh, all right, uh, something that is very scary to many people, yes, okay? Because, okay, not everybody can speak in public. That's one. Another one is not everybody can speak fluently, okay, when uh, they are not prepared, right? So that is the most uh, problematic, okay, the, the, uh, the, the, the challenge that we have when uh, we are asked to speak in public. So usually impromptu speaking must be... Uh, uh, it happens in uh, public, okay, in lectures, okay, sometimes when we have a seminar, all right, okay, in which many people are there, and then suddenly we have to say something about certain issues, okay. So that is uh, impromptu speech or, okay, speaking without preparation. Right, okay. Uh, so Mark Twain says that it usually takes me more than three weeks to prepare good impromptu speech. So, but the irony is, okay, when we are asked to do the impromptu speech, okay, we don't have the time, right? So, so we don't have the time, okay, to prepare, all right. So next week, you will be given the topic, for example, and I give you a few minutes and then you will have to uh, uh, submit, all right? So that will be the challenge. How to speak off the cuff, meaning it is impromptu, okay? To be prepared to speak off the cuff. Is it possible? Yes, of course, it is possible. Okay, because there are ways in which we can kill. Okay, especially uh, for this kind of uh, speaking. Okay, these are uh, some listed okay, uh, people who need to learn impromptu the experience of being uh, sales representatives okay uh, telemarketers okay, uh, okay using the phone right attorneys okay uh, those people work in court okay legal uh, people okay lawyers okay uh, comedians okay audience okay and then we have the uh, TV journalists, TV journalists, okay, while reporting on site, reporting especially, okay, uh, but, okay, the text is there, but it, for TV journalists, okay, reporters on site, reporters usually they to come up with, okay, uh, instant reporting, All right? Coaches, okay, trainers, uh, students, of course, okay, you, you are students, okay. Uh, many times you you have to say something in class, okay. Uh, teachers, okay. Uh, team captains, okay. If you you are in football team, for example, all right, okay. You have to give some uh, motivational speech before the 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 uh, 
uh, right, the match begins okay so that your 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 teammates will be very very motivated to win the game okay so as team captain you have to say something okay uh as well as managers okay these are some of these uh some of the people that okay uh usually need to give impromptu speech right but a sales representative telemarketers attorneys everything okay they can speak okay uh basically they have been trained all right they have been trained okay they know what to talk about all right and uh yeah they know okay uh what will uh, be uh presented all right okay so basically when we talk about impromptu speech usually it is something that we are familiar with right okay uh next is what are the benefits okay what are the benefits of uh having the ability to speak in uh improperly okay improve oral expression of thought okay uh develop confidence in public speaking yes okay if we uh feel relaxed okay uh, we uh we practice okay several times okay and then we have the experience okay of course our confidence will improve okay think quickly on your feet okay the the the, the biggest challenge in impromptu speech is about thinking actually okay we have seconds only to think of what to say so that is the biggest challenge all right and also okay develop uh, leadership and communication skills of course okay uh, we ha we have to know who are the, our audiences okay uh, the tone of our language everything okay these are under communication skills all right next okay uh so far okay if you have any questions okay please please okay uh, don't okay uh forget to write something okay in the live chat section all right okay okay uh i move on to the next uh slide here all right okay so i make it bigger so hopefully you can see it well right okay uh this is a basic outline template all right so basically uh, in language, it is almost the same, actually, when we write, when we speak, okay, it is almost the same. There must be certain structure that we have to follow, okay. Uh, there must be an introduction, okay. For example, okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, all right, uh, for giving me the, the opportunity to speak today. And... We start our introduction okay as you know that COVID-19 is uh, giving us a lot of problems okay and we have thousands of people who have died okay and in Malaysia almost 9,000 people were okay are, were or are or were infected by this COVID-19 so in this in uh, in uh, my speech okay I would perhaps okay suggest okay a few ways okay three ways or four ways or five ways on how we could stop COVID-19 from spreading more in our community okay so that is the introduction okay uh, and then uh, you continue with the body okay those are the main points that you want to share okay for example okay you, in your mind you have three points okay my first suggestion is okay 
we should stay at home and then you come up with okay some uh, stories okay some facts okay then meaning you need to support that point number one okay your your first suggestion when you are done okay now my second suggestion is what is your second suggestion and then you come up with your supporting details okay and uh, facts numbers and so on okay uh, uh, relevant to the point that you are presenting and then okay and my last suggestion is this okay and then you state your suggestion then you support it with some uh, supporting details okay could be uh, stories could be facts okay it could be some quotes okay examples and so on okay then you have already given them the point okay so what you need to do is to end your speech by a conclusion by summarizing all your points okay ladies and gentlemen thank you for listening so basically in my speech today i suggested three ways on how we could stop COVID-19 they are number one number two number three so when you are summarizing no more okay you are not required required to give your okay your uh, uh details all right so as i uh, show you down there okay the basic structure that we can tell okay this is a uh, uh simplified version okay my version okay basic structure number one you you need to tell them what you are going to tell them okay that is the introductory part tell them what you are going to tell them okay ladies and gentlemen in my speech today i will share with you tips on how to buy a new car all right so that is tell them what you are going to tell them. So in this introduction, it is a promise. Okay, it is a promise to our audience of what they are going to listen to. All right, okay. And then the second part is tell them. Okay, just now you promised that you are going to give some tips on how to buy new cars. So now you need to tell them okay tip number one this is blah 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 tip number two okay then you explain you elaborate tip number two tip number three tip number four tip number five all right and then the last part is number three is tell them what you have told them okay ladies and gentlemen i have come to the end of my speech so in my speech just now I've already given you five tips on how to get, to buy a new car. They are number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Thank you for listening. So there is a basic structure. So this is similar to writing actually. In writing, we have the introduction, we have the body part, we have the conclusion part. Okay. So in the introduction, okay, we are going to tell them, okay, what we are going to okay tell them what we we are we are going to tell them in the body right so in this essay i will discuss on the advantages of okay getting married early for example that's another topic okay so that is the introductory part but in that introductory perhaps okay you can have some background numbers and so on okay and then go to the uh go to the uh, body part okay so just now advantages so when you say that in the introductory part okay then you will uh, give some sort of direction to the audience okay so remember in in speaking we have okay we as the speaker and then we have our audience okay our audience so in in speaking we have we i am the speaker right now you are the audience 
Okay, in writing, there is a writer versus the reader. All right, okay. So this is communication, All right? So in speaking, the norm is a little bit different from uh, reading because reading, okay, if I, I, I don't understand the text, I can go back to the previous paragraph and so on. I, I can re read and reread, okay? I can read again and again and again until I understand. But in speaking, it is some sort of a linear, okay? You start from, okay, A, okay? And then you continue, okay, until you stop. So the problem, okay, the challenge for the listeners is to keep structuring, organizing the content from the speaker. So that is the main challenge. So we help the audience, the listener, to prepare themselves, okay, of what they are going to listen to. Okay, so basically, okay, during the introduction, okay, you promise them, okay, guys, in this class, I'm going to talk about impromptu speech. So you as listeners, okay, you have set your mind, okay, you, some ex expectation actually, oh, okay, the topic today is impromptu speech, and then you start to relate whatever experience, whatever knowledge you have, okay, uh, regarding impromptu speech. Oh, yeah, I, uh, last time I, I, I was asked to, uh, do a, okay, to, to speak in front of public, but I fail miserably. All right. So that is a part of the, the listener. So the speaker, you help them to organize. Okay. So you tell them, okay, I'm going to say this. Okay. And then you, Fulfill the promise because in the introductory part, you already promised something. Okay, you promise that you are going to give this, okay, to list down five tips how to buy a car. Okay, you, you promise, okay, uh, to share the advantages of getting married early, for example. All right, so in the, in, in the body paragraph, okay, then you explain, all right, because Listeners will expect, okay, yeah, I'm going to listen this, so I'm going to get some advantages. I want to know what are the tips, okay? So you start with, okay, tip number one, then you elaborate, tip number two, you elaborate, okay? When you elaborate, you can examples, you can give numbers, it depends on what point you have. And finally, the conclusion, okay, back to the, uh, the, the, the nature of listening and speaking okay when we listen to okay uh, we can listen so many things but how how much can we remember that is a question how much can we remember all right so one way to help the listeners to remember our points okay let's say just now you give them uh, five points on how give how, how to buy a new cars for example Okay, I don't think that they can remember all the five points, but in the conclusion, what you need to do is to repeat. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just now I already gave you five points. Okay, point number one is this, point number two, point number three, point number four, and point number five. So hopefully my explanation is very clear. Thank you very much. Okay, if you do that, okay, just now, okay, in the body, uh, in the content, just yes, now, okay, you explain everything, okay, with the detail. But sometimes, okay, it is too much for our listeners to think, to remember, but the final part of your speech, you are repeating the points only. So that will help them to List okay to, to understand and also to re remember. All right. So far, do you have any question before I move on to the next slide? Okay. So once again, if you have questions, something that you want, I want you want me to uh, explain more. For example, okay, just. 
type it in the live chat section All right so say something so that i know that i'm talking to somebody right now you know it is quite difficult to you know speak on your okay uh, on your own in your office nobody is in front of you but i know that my students are there okay listening to me so if you have anything in your mind okay please please write something in the live section okay so so far we have uh, i have already spent about 30 minutes right 30 minutes so after this presentation okay i have a few more slides actually i will talk about the test that we are going to have next week all right if you have anything to ask perhaps okay so this one i think i already shared this in author okay under the learning material you can go to your uh, author and uh, under learning material you can download this uh, powerpoint presentation okay so the speech structure okay i mentioned just now the, basically you have the opening okay but in public speaking one thing is about getting the attention of our readers or, or sorry of our listeners okay getting attention all right so perhaps okay i can share with you one video okay so can you okay i will play one if it is possible okay So basically what you can see here is the same as what I already uh, discussed, okay, during the opening, okay, this is tell them what you are going to tell them, and then in the body, okay, you explain, okay, you keep your promise, you are delivering your promise just now in the, uh, in the introductory part, you come up with, uh, okay, some promises, okay, and then in the body, okay you keep your promise you are delivering your promise and then in the action okay uh you uh, summarize all right hopefully okay still okay once again while I'm looking for the video, okay, to be shared with you. Okay, please write something. Okay, uh, yeah, we have Nur Swaida. Good morning, sir. And uh, okay, I'm in my hometown, Kulai. Okay, thank you, Swaida. Hopefully, you are still there. Okay, and then we have Faiz Ashraf in Batu Pahat. All right. So far, no questions from you. Is it clear? Okay, my explanation, my audio is clear.
Okay. Uh, Dayang Afrika say clear. Okay. okay thank you. Okay, do yung chomel. Okay, very chomel. Hala. Mila. Clear, sir. So, I, I can't load the video. I'm not so sure why. Okay. Uh -huh, okay, there is a bug here. Okay. No problem while we are waiting for that. Okay, we continue with our... All right. Okay. Okay, this is an example. Okay, this is an example. Okay. Uh, in which the topic is, what are the three most important things in your life and why? Okay, first of all, uh, especially for the test next week, all right, uh, because the nature of our test is, okay, you will be at your home and I will be here in Pek Raja in UTHM, so I can't see you, basically, all right. So what you need to do is to, okay, uh, start off with, okay, uh, good morning, okay, my name is Zainal Abidin Sayyad. Okay, in this speech, I will talk about the three most important things in my life. And along the way, I'll give my reasons why those things are. Number two is, uh, okay, you start uh, with restating the topic. Okay, I'm going to talk about the topic. Okay, uh, the three most important things in my life. Okay, all right. So you are giving your answer. Okay, and what they are, number one, okay, my family, my area, and number three, okay, what is another one? Okay, you, you have to give. Okay, if possible, share a short story of all analogy. Okay, so here, perhaps you need to have certain uh, attention grabbing before you, uh, while giving your, introductory right and then we move to the body okay three points okay three points most meaning okay and about uh one minute for the introduction three minutes for the body meaning you have three points okay one minute each for each point with the elaboration okay so you have already spent four minutes one plus three and for conclusion, you have another minute. Restate topic, restate answer, make reference to attention grabber, and thanks the audience. So that will take you about one minute. All right? So basically, impromptu speech, okay, it is not a presentation. So make it clear that impromptu speech is not a presentation in which you have the time to prepare everything. So presentation can last five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 15, okay? One hour, two hours, three hours, that is presentation. But impromptu speech, usually you are given less than 10 minutes. Even if you, you speak for 10 minutes for impromptu speech, it is very, okay, uh, long and, you know, the problem with speaking is how to keep people uh attention okay the attention that we have okay i'm trying to load the video and share it with you one interesting video why
Okay. So we just continue. Okay, perhaps there are questions. Okay, so I look at the comments. No. All right. Okay, Faru Zaman say very clear. Okay, so uh, means okay, P for point, R for reason, E for example, P for point. Okay, when asked to express an opinion, okay, usually <coughs> what we need to do is, okay, there are three reasons when we speak, okay, <coughs> the purpose of uh, speaking. Number one is to inform, okay, I'm going to share you some information, okay, that, so that is informed. To persuade, okay, to persuade is <clears throat> at the end of, of your speech, okay, hopefully uh, people will believe in what you are talking about and perhaps there will be some change, change in uh, opinion, change in belief, okay, and sometimes, okay, persuade is also, okay, you let them do what you want them to do, okay. For example, okay, uh, save the environment, okay, save the environment, okay, stop using straw, stop using plastic, for example. So after they listen to your speech, okay, you already uh, you, you are able to persuade them to do that is persuade or to inspire. Inspire is giving some motivation, okay. Uh, for example, if you go to schools, okay, you give speech to in front uh, to a group of students. Right, uh, because of your speech, okay, they are very, very uh, motivated, okay, to study, to work hard for their exam, for example, right. So, here, uh, for prep method, okay, uh, the one is point, make your point, the opening, okay, tell them what you are going to tell them, okay. And then uh, you have uh, the reasons, okay? What are the body, uh, the, 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 the points that you want to share with them, okay? And then you give some examples, five, okay? And then the last part is relate back to the... Uh, opening. Okay, meaning, okay, you have to list down again what are the points. Okay, a few more slides actually. Uh, uh, when asked for your comment on a particular subject, okay, we can use past, present, future method. Okay, okay. In the opening, make it with this statement, okay, this, what, whatever. What happened? Okay, so this is in the past. What is happening right now? What will or what could happen body? For example, let's say, okay, what, what is your, okay, uh, let's say in Johor, okay, especially in uh, my area, starting from 1st July, uh, there will be a, a, a new regulation okay a new regulation in which okay previously we have this uh, no polystyrene uh, regulation but now they are extending to another one uh, another two actually plastic bag okay for shopping and also another one is on the use of straw so starting from 1st july if you go to uh, food stalls okay to restaurants and so on okay they won't provide you with the straw so you are being asked for comments on that uh, move okay new regulation okay uh, so the point okay whether you agree or, or you disagree so so you tell them okay uh, yes uh, do agree with the regulation okay and then what what happened okay uh, you can 
talk about okay the previous uh, initiative by the government, for example, banning the use of polystyrene. And we notice that no more polystyrene being littered. Okay, uh, so it saves a lot of our environment. Okay, so that is in the past. Okay, in the present, okay, we need to move on. Okay, and uh, the use of straw, okay, contribute to how much of the pollution to the world, for example. Okay, and in the future, okay, if we could stop the use of straw, okay, in a year perhaps, okay, we will save this, 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 this. Right. So you use the past, present, future, and then you, in the conclusion, you go back. Yes, for that reasons, I do agree with it. <clears throat> Okay, that is a question by Muhammad Shahir. Okay, uh, the question will, okay, it's about, okay. Uh, Muhammad Shahir asks, okay, for the impromptu test, how it will going to be held? Okay, I, I will explain uh, soon, okay, in a few more minutes, okay? All right, uh, Shahir, I will answer that question very, very soon, okay? Because okay, I'm I have one or two more slides. Okay, right. When you speak, okay, remember to open your mouth. Okay, because you know, if you don't open your mouth, basically your voice will come out. Okay, your articulation will uh, not clear. All right. So it's very important that you open your mouth because when we speak, okay. It involves voice cords, okay, voice instruments. In voice instruments, okay, we need our tongue, our teeth, okay, the uh, air coming out from the mouth, okay. That is the simple, uh, basic rules for us to speak, right? Okay. Uh, number two is practice, 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 okay. Although it is said that at the beginning just yes, now, in which uh, impromptu speech is actually speaking without preparation, okay, speaking without preparation, but we need to practice, practice meaning, okay, we, we train ourselves, okay, we challenge ourselves, okay, let's say you are given one topic, okay, you take one topic, okay, uh, current issues, for example, current issues, okay, uh, in terms of, for example, uh, okay, uh, current issues, for example, let's say we are talking about uh, Rohingya, for example. Okay, so you need to read a lot, okay, to the, 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 the issues, okay, you get some information from your reading, okay, you watch newspaper, uh, you, you, you don't watch newspaper, you read newspaper, you watch TV news and so on, so you get some ideas, okay? All right, so that is how we get the information because speaking, okay, you know how to speak, but, but there is no content, so it doesn't work, all right? But if you have the content, but you don't, you, you lack the ability to speak, okay, to say mine, it is also doesn't help. So to improve your impromptu speech, okay, ability, okay, you need both. Number one is in terms of content, your knowledge. Number two is how to deliver. All right. So you can speak, practice, okay. Okay, I'm going to speak about, uh, let's say, okay, uh, the issue of Rohingya. Okay. Then you try to speak for one minute, two minutes, three minutes, right? on your own. You can, okay, uh, suck. So many people suggested that, okay, you can speak in of the mirror and see yourself, okay? But you can use your handphone, record yourself, and see, right? So if you want to improve on that speaking skill, you should do that. 
Okay, Alex, Germany. Morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm currently in Johor Bahru. All right, Alex, Germany. Okay, do we have our our student's name, Alex, Germany? All right. <laughs> Anas Han. Okay, morning, sir. I'm currently in Johor Bahru. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay, last, I think the last, yeah. Yeah, practice, entertain your friends, okay? Tell stories, okay? Be talkative with your friends, okay? With your family members, okay? And then ask feedback, okay? There's one uh, typo, right? And watch yourself in the mirror or video, okay? You record yourself, right? Uh, write down your speech ideas, okay? Personalized opinions, humor, current events, okay? Basically, if in impromptu speech, I have seen so many uh, presentations sort of, okay, uh, uh, very to tell stories about related to yourself because you have the experience, so it is good, okay? Uh, so, for example, okay, if you are talking about plastic just now, okay, your own experience, I saw... Okay, back uh, the, the river in my place, okay, a uh, clock with the stream, okay, and fish die and everything. So, your own experience. But sometimes we don't have that kind of experience, so we need to read, okay, we need to read, All right? So, basically, uh, those are the things of, for this impromptu speech, right? I'm going to share with you okay the video i'm going to share with you another okay i uh, i promise you test right the test right so i'm going to share the question <laughs> not the topic it's okay. I'm going to share you the okay. Hopefully, you can see this. All right. So I'm sharing this. Okay, assignment three. It doesn't go there. Not responding. So for this assignment, oh, sorry. Okay. So for this assignment, okay, what you need to do, okay, I'm going to give you each of you a topic, right? Each of you a topic next week. Okay, I will have the list, okay, and then I will sign topic one, for example, Shahid. Topic number two is Amira Majid. Topic number three is Duyung Chomel. Okay, for example, right, and then uh, you are given about uh, basically, yes, it is already here. You originally you are given, uh, make it bigger. You are given three minutes, if not mistaken, to prepare. But since you are far away, so it is quite impossible for me to uh, monitor you. Okay. And you need to upload your, your, your speech. 
All right. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. Okay, first of all, uh, okay, I'm going to assign you each with a topic. So you cannot choose the topic. Okay, uh, there are topics, okay, depending on the number of students we have. For example, okay, in this class, we have 30, 35 students. So I will have 35 different topics. And I will assign a pick for each of you. And then okay, I will give a google form okay a google form in which you have to submit the file okay you need to record your speech okay the, only the voice okay I, I i i don't want to use the video because video is a little bit heavy okay so you need to record your voice okay your speech okay using mp3 format okay mp3 format meaning the audio only no video okay audio only okay and then i'm going to give you a link for the google form in which you have to key, key in okay from which section you are and then you uh your name and so on and there's one section there in which you have to send the file so it is similar to the one uh, on the reading uh, exam uh, reading test last week in which you have to uh, attach a file last time it was in pdf but now okay next for next week okay the file will be in mp3 so how long okay it should be between three to five minutes okay three to five minutes all right so in that audio okay first of all you must okay you must say okay expression like okay uh good morning okay my name is okay fatin amira i am from section 66 in my speech today okay my topic for today's speech is how to blah 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 okay and then you continue thank you very much all right you record that and then you attach the file to google form okay i don't want you to submit your uh, send your your audio file to uh my whatsapp because there will be a lot of you i have uh, more than 100 students okay for this course okay so i don't want my uh okay there will be some problems for me to go through and find out okay who which one okay uh which answer for which student all right so that is how we are going to have our test so the duration perhaps okay i'll give you about okay the, the process will take about 15 minutes for example okay 15 minutes okay i give you the link through okay the the the, the title okay the topic uh through whatsapp and then you work on the record okay the, the the content you prepare you have the time some uh, some time to prepare for example two to three minutes to prepare and then you say it please do not read okay because if you are reading from your points okay i will deduct some marks because this is impromptu speech but we have we can have some notes in which we can refer from time to time but not all the time okay okay you 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 write your speech okay my name is zainal i'm going to talk about this 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 without okay you have to speak in front of the camera not reading in front of the camera okay hopefully it, it is clear all right so you have two to three minutes to prepare okay okay and then you have at most five minutes to speak about it so now you already spend about eight minutes right eight minutes or 10 minutes okay and for another 10 to 15 minutes okay perhaps okay you need to upload whatever okay depending on your uh network uh internet and so on 
Okay, I'm giving you to another 15 minutes. So 10 plus 15, it is 25 minutes. At most 30 minutes. From the beginning, from the starting of uh, sharing the uh, question into submission of your file, of your, yeah, of your speech through Google Form, not more than 30 minutes. Okay, so if you uh, exceed the 30 minutes, okay, okay, I will uh, penalize some marks from you. Sorry. All right, and one more thing, okay. Please don't copy, okay. I know that you have the this tendency, okay. Uh, you have the opportunity actually to Google and everything, okay, and then you copy everything, okay. I will be able to know that. All right, I will be able to know that. Right, so please uh, be honest. All right, be honest. Right, we are giving you some leeway. Okay, and if you have any problem, okay, uh, regarding the test, okay, please tell me. Okay, let me know. So, inshallah, I will, okay, give some considerations. All right, okay. So, if you have any other questions, please regarding the test next week. It will be conducted during the class time. I will inform you. Okay, so next Sunday, yeah. Perhaps, okay, I'll start around 9.30 because uh, 9 is too early for many people. 8 is quite impossible for most of you. <laughs> right, so start 9.30. By 10, I receive all the files. All right. So, so far, okay, uh, we have done all the three assessment, okay, listening test, okay, and then we have the writing done, okay, already marked, okay, uh, all the writing papers. And uh, last week, you did the reading test, okay, that one I have not started, okay. Uh, this week, inshallah, I will start to mark your papers. And last one will be our read, uh, impromptu speaking test. All right. Okay. So last one. Okay. If you have any questions, please ask me uh, before I end this session. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So... And I know that you are very busy right now. Okay. Uh, this is week 13, week 14, very critical weeks. Okay, very busy weeks for you. I know that you have sleepless nights, completing all the assignments from different, okay, uh, different, different, uh, okay, different uh, subject courses. All right. But my advice, okay. Stay safe, okay. Uh, take care of yourself, all right. So this during COVID nineteen, okay. Try to avoid the three C, okay. Uh, crowded places, confined spaces, and close conversations. So it must be a social distancing of at least one meter. If you go to the shop, to restaurants, okay, to the bank, and everything. Please, if possible, wear face masks, all right? So, I pray that everyone is in yeah, good shape, okay? Uh, you can uh, continue with this, uh, okay? Uh, continue, okay, uh, with this uh, new norm of learning, okay? I know that you are struggling, yes, yo. Yo, Chia Jun. Okay, so just record the audio, right? Yes, only the audio, no video, so that our file will be light. Okay, uh, last time, okay, uh, I did with one uh, course, okay, 500 gig uploaded. Wow. All right. So, I consider, okay, just the audio. Okay, just the audio. All right. 
So if there is no more question, okay, if you have other questions, okay, after this, please don't hesitate to uh, write your questions. You ask your questions in the WhatsApp group. All right. So thank you very much. Okay. Thank you for joining me. Okay. This morning. All right. Uh, I know that you miss me a lot. So that's why I go live today. <laughs> okay. So thank you very much. Salam alaikum and bye bye. All right. See you very, very soon face to face in person. Thank you. All right. So goodbye. Salam alaikum once again. Stay safe.